watching Aunt Tan. I mean, uh, you are watching Aunt Tansy home stay video. Bye. Yes. Bye. Welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangi, and it is Friday, which means Frugal Family Food. And for the month of October, Amanda from the Fundamental Home and I have been introducing you all to channels that are sharing delicious soup or stew recipes, and it is actually my week. It just so happens that a couple of weeks ago, we were at the uh, Homesteaders of America conference, and one of the keynote speakers was Stacy Lynn Harris. I, I love her. Say, oh, so she well, is amazing. <laughs> I love Tanchi. I love Tanchi. And she is a cookbook author. Um, her specialty is wild game, homegrown foods, and um, I already have her harvest cookbook, and while I was there, she was so sweet to give me her first cookbook called Happy Healthy Family Tracking the Outdoors In. And this is the cookbook that I'm actually going to be using today. Both of my children have a cold. It's chilly outside, so soup is absolutely in order. Um, I was trying to get an idea of what to make for you all, and I already had some uh, deer stew meat in the freezer and I was and I knew that Stacy probably would have a delicious recipe for me to try and as I was flipping through I got to page 43 and she has Moroccan stew which features a pound of venison stew meat so this is what it looks like in her cookbook let's hope mine turns out just as good so join me in the kitchen we're going to make some Moroccan stew with Stacy Lynn Harris the beauty of this meal is in the simplicity of the ingredients. Here I have a pound of venison cut into half inch pieces. The recipe calls for one pint of homemade canned tomatoes or a 15 ounce can. I'm using a 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and they worked beautifully. You also need kidney beans. I used canned, uh, just a 15 ounce can rinsed and drained and also the same amount in garbanzo beans. You need water to cover your soup. You need parsley and cilantro. The recipe doesn't call for minced garlic, but I wanted to try putting it in there anyway. You also need ground cinnamon and turmeric. Not to mention the butter and the onions. Let's go. The recipe also calls for salt and pepper to taste. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to start by chopping a whole onion. I'm using a sweet Vidalia onion. To my soup pot that is now over medium high heat, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. Now we're just going to add in the onions and then the venison. You're just going to cook until the meat is brown, so about five minutes. While the meat was browning, I wanted to go ahead and chop my herbs. The recipe calls for four tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro and two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. Sorry about the steam, you guys, but after the five minutes was up, I added my can of crushed tomatoes, my can of kidney beans that were rinsed and drained, and my can of garbanzo beans that had been rinsed and drained. I cover up my soup with water, which I had to add water a few times during the cooking process. Um, here I'm adding my cilantro. Then I'm going to add in my half teaspoon of ground cinnamon and my half teaspoon of turmeric. Then I add in my uh, two tablespoons of parsley. Okay, so I'm gonna let this simmer for a few minutes and then I'm gonna taste the broth to see if it's, um, if garlic would be good in this. I've never cooked with uh, cinnamon in a savory dish, so this is new for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let this simmer, let the flavors come together. And then if I think the garlic will be good in it, I'm gonna put some in here for the family. 
In case you're wondering how to properly store fresh cilantro and fresh parsley, here's what you do. You're going to put them in a mason jar of water, much like you would do a flower bouquet. And then you're going to put a zip top bag over top. And then you're just gonna store it in the refrigerator and they will keep for a little while, maybe a week or so. Hey guys, it is already smelling incredible in here. Um, I already seasoned my soup with salt and pepper. Um, I went pretty heavy on the salt when I tasted it after salting it. It was still, um, there just wasn't enough for me. So I added more salt and um, then I tasted it and I thought, I think garlic will be really good in here. So I just added uh, about a tablespoon of minced garlic and Oh, it just smells incredible. So we're gonna let this simmer for another hour and 20 minutes and then we'll come back and try it. Okay, so just to let you know why this recipe is frugal for my family. The, uh, the meat, the venison, my husband actually killed last year. We processed it ourselves. And so that pretty much cost us nothing except for the deer tag. The can of crushed tomatoes and the can of garbanzo beans I got from my salvage store. The can of kidney beans I got from Aldi. And the herbs were very inexpensive. Um, both bunches were 89 cents a piece at, um, at Meyer. So, um, and I can use those in several dish dishes. I've got stuff to make guacamole to use the cilantro in. Of course, parsley can be thrown in just about anything. Um, so yeah, so this is a very frugal meal and also I am making rice um, to put in the bottom of our bowls to make this meal stretch even farther. So yeah, definitely give it a try. You will not believe how amazing my kitchen smells right now. My daughter came in here and she's like, ooh, it smells so good. So um, it's got just a little bit longer to cook and then we'll dish it up. Okay, you guys, it is finished. Look at how beautiful this is. It smells exquisite. Um, we're gonna dish this up. So uh, in the cookbook, she recommends to dish it with uh, some cilantro and a lime slice. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've never really been one for cilantro, but I'm trying to like it, <laughs> and it really smells good in this dish. So. All right, so let's give it a taste. Okay, so I'm taking my spoon and I'm kind of bruising the lemon, trying to get those juices in there, bruising up the cilantro, trying to get it in there so I can get all those oils. Mm. Well, this is definitely different than anything that I've ever made, but it is so good. It's bright, it's hearty, it's flavorful. You have to try this recipe. Absolutely have to try it. I'm going to leave uh, an affiliate link to uh, Stacy Lynn's two cookbooks. If you want to check those out, I have both of them. I have cooked out of both of them. And so far, her recipes do not disappoint. Um, also, I will leave links in the description box below to her website as well as her social media. She's a lot of fun to follow. But be sure to check out my friend Stacy and check out this recipe. If you're interested in seeing past Frugal Family Food collaborators, be sure to check the links where you can find all of the Frugal recipes that we have been sharing for over the last two years. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time.